Hello and welcome to part two of this four-part tutorial. My name is Iskander Melak and I will be guiding you through these tutorials. We'll be using Fracture Effects along with Maya 2015 to create a look and feel for this art directable shot. Part two will mainly be focusing on the paint and localised fracturing option within Fracture Effects. This gives us the option to be able to stylize and create the look that we wanted quite easily and quite quickly. Uh, we will also be looking at the events tab um, and we will touch upon a few of the other tabs and elements within the UI but mainly focusing on the first two tabs within the UI. So let's get started. So now we need to set up a uh, so we need to set up some events basically. So if we delete the event that's already in there. And I'm gonna create a uh, a bomb. It's just I always seem to start off with a bomb. I don't know why, it just seems to be the one that I use the most. Um, I'm going to delete the, now that it's been created, I'm going to delete the object filter because I don't need it to filter anything. Uh, I'm going to call this, I'm going to rename it, so neat or impact. And Due to the animation that's been done around this scene, I'm going to actually set this to a different time. I want it to start at 1037. So that will be when it first takes, it gets, uh, first activates. And the rest I can leave. So let's see what happens this time. Nothing. Okay, so now that the main setup of the simulation is done, what we need to do is go down to the break geometry because we set the uh, we set the main road to paint localized. So what we need to do is go down to the the break node for that item, which you can see is there. So it says what geometry node, uh, what break node that the uh, mesh is using. If you go to the break geometry node, and we need to use paint. Also going to change this to a cluster. Um, I'm going to ramp this up to a thousand. Again, settings I've already used. Um, Ninety. Nine I'm going to leave the seed as it is. Hit generate first. See if anything happens. Nope. So I need to basically now paint the area that I want to fracture. Um, since since it's, I need to find out where the actual meteorite's hitting, I'm going to deactivate it and press play. So it hits around about there and you should see that there's the helper node under there as well. So now I'm just going to paint the actual uh, geometry. So if I just hit the paint button, so select the, the break geo node, you don't need to select the, the mesh, you select the break geo node and then hit paint. And because I have default material on, you won't see anything, but as soon as you turn that on, you should see it. And you should get the uh, paint box come up. I'm just going to hold down B to make it slightly bigger and I'm just going to paint it. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So you can just close it and you get the uh, you now see that Fracture's only broken the geometry in that particular area. So we might find that there's not enough geometry being broken there, but uh, we'll see when we when we test it. You can change the seed as well, see. I was quite happy with the original one, so uh, let's turn back active on, so go to the globals tab and turn on active, hit rewind. There's one thing I forgot to mention, uh, you also need to have 
passive collide turned on um, in the globals tab otherwise this won't work check the right settings are on so we're now starting to see something happen so you can see that the actual now you can see what the helper node is doing it's actually pushing the geometry back up um, just so we get the initial impact pushing downwards and then the the helper node sort of brings it up just to give it a little bit more of a interesting look um, it may not physically happen like that in real life but that was the look I was after um, so okay One of the things I need to also do is, uh, which I haven't done on this because I'm not actually using it, is I can just disable the push modifier, or I can delete it altogether. So just, just I'm just going to double check it all works, but it should still break. Yeah. So basically, what we can now do is just delete that push modifier. It's not needed. We're just using the meter. We just used the bomb initially just to um, an easy event that's already half set up for what we needed so if we go back to the beginning hit start so you can see that the uh, the road breaks just before a meteorite hits it which if you wanted you could uh, make it a frame later um, there's one also thing that I've noticed I need to paint it slightly further back that way because it's it's not really affecting a decent area so if we go back and let's paint it so all you need to do is go to the break geo node again so go to the inputs tab break geometry node and hit paint again and it will just pop back up so what we're going to do is paint up here a bit more and I'm going to remove the lower half a bit more so hopefully we should get a uh, more interesting explosion yeah so now it's hitting in a better place and we're starting to get the bulge we wanted. Um, so now what we need to do is... Okay, so that's the end of part two. Uh, part three, we will be concentrating on the globals tab and creating takes, and we will also touch upon previous tabs as well. Um, but I hope you've been enjoying this, so cheers.